legal exposure. I don't know how much you've read about Sarbanes-Oxley. I'm sure you know a little bit about it. But there is now a very different set of expectations on the part of and requirements on the part of the CEO and the CFO in particular of a public company. You have to certify the results every quarter, which means that they are true and accurate, completely true and accurate. If you are wrong about those results and have to restate them in any material way, you have both legal and personal financial exposure. Um, you're watching what's going on. And I'm going to leave aside Bernie Ebers and you know, all the sort of that stuff for a minute. If you're just you know, a good old CFO and CEO, just imagine how easy it would be in a company of 1,000 you know, employees if, in fact, a salesperson, I'm going to give you a very specific example that, that happened a lot in enterprise software. Um, and Sar Sarbox really has cracked down on this. And part of the reason they did it um, was because of these problems. There was this big problem in the software business where you would book revenue, and then later customers would return stuff or never pay their bill. And then you would find out after the fact the reason why was because sales, some salesperson, so under the gun to meet their quota, had actually whispered to the customer, maybe sent an email, maybe written a letter, they're called side letters, saying, well, you know, if you really decide after 30 days you don't want it, you can return it. But you know, give me the order this quarter. I need to make my number. Okay, This went on rampantly in the software business. That's one of the things that you have to make sure you don't have in a company like Epiphanies. No side letters, that every order you book is a firm order. The customer knows they're buying the software. They're going to pay you. There's no risk of a return and a material restatement. I can't know every conversation that everyone in my company ever has with anybody. You know, so how am I ever going to really certify? So it, it's tough. It's tough. You've got to have a great finance organization, great controls and procedures in the company. You have to run compliance training to train every individual about not only compliance but ethics and what, you know, how to stay out of trub trouble in harm's way, basically how to keep the CFO and the CEO out of harm's way. Um, you've got to have a great board, a great audit committee, et cetera. So those are the kinds of things you have to do. You know, really, you are responsible for the wrong, any wrongdoing in the company, even if it was ill-intentioned. And so that's a, um, a scarier thing than it used to be um, uh, running a public company. Now, obviously, if you defraud investors, um, if you do, you know, and, and again, I'm not saying Bernie Ebers is guilty, but boy, is that an interesting trial. Um, the CFO is certainly saying that he was behind the falsification of the reports. Now, that's exactly what Sarbox is there for. But what it's had to put as a pressure on any public company is pretty extreme in order to clean up the mess. And I don't know if it'll dial back. People wonder, will it dial back a little over time as we clean up corporate scandals? Probably. But costs a lot. Think about that. 30 engineers a quarter.